Melania doesn't tend to step into the political arena when it comes to the actions and decisions made by her, her husband in the White House, but albeit a very short and fairly uncontroversial statement, nonetheless she has uh, joined the debate, you know, showing some uh, empathy towards those families who, who have been affected, talking about governing with heart, but also respecting uh, the laws of the land. This was fairly safe and pretty much in line uh, with other people representing uh, the policies of the Trump administration we heard earlier today. But critics will say that, you know, she's just reinforcing these claims by Donald Trump that it's the Democrats that are the problem, that this is a bipartisan uh, issue. Uh, Donald Trump has, has suggested that there is a law introduced by the Democrats, which means that these separations are, are going ha ahead. And critics say, well, there is no such law and that Donald Trump has the power at any time uh, to end these uh, separations, children being ripped away, as some reports put it, uh, from their families. Nearly 2,000 children over a six-week period have been separated from their parents, put into detention centres along that US-Mexico uh, border. Uh, it's all part of the Zero Tolerance uh, Initiative put in place by Donald Trump. Unlawful entry attempts were once, of course, treated as minor misdemeanors. They are now being prosecuted uh, by this Trump administration, and that's why we're seeing the separation. The children cannot be detained along with their parents. Remarkable uh, from the Attorney General as well, Jeff Sessions, on this matter, even quoting the Bible in defense of what is clearly a very controversial policy. President Trump is uh, expected to meet members of his own party to uh, discuss immigration later this week. Uh, how's that going to pan out? Because presumably these aren't terribly good headlines or terribly good pictures for Tea Time TV for the party. It very much depends which part of the party you come from. I mean, there will be hardliners uh, in the Republican Party who are, you know, delighted at what they're seeing, uh, others who uh, perhaps think it doesn't even go far enough, and then you have those ones who are watching the headlines, as you put it, uh, and fearing about the upcoming midterm uh, elections uh, coming up in November. But there's an important huddle uh, on Tuesday this week uh, where Donald Trump will sit with House Republicans. Uh, they put together two uh, immigrants immigration bills that they hope Donald Trump, if they pass, uh, will sign. Uh, he had sort of startled them uh, over the weekend when he suggested he wouldn't be signing them. The White House then later sort of walked those back. But in terms of what Donald Trump wants from these bills, well, his pet project, that border wall across the U.S.-Mexico line, that's the one he really wants. He wants that $25 billion uh, investment uh, in the bill to come through, to be passed and agreed. So far, he's failed to get that. Uh, he also wants to bring an end to the visa lottery program and introduce a merit-based uh, immigration uh, approach to, for the United States. Uh, it's not quite clear if he's going to get that yet, but this week will be an important step towards uh, what as many see as his increasingly hard-line approach to immigration in the United States.